Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to find the values of x that satisfy this logarithmic equation. And to solve this problem, we are going to start by taking log of both sides of this equation. Now, remember that when we write log without specifying the base, it means we are working in base 10, common logarithms. So when we take log to base 10 of both sides of this equation, we have log x to power 3 times log cube of x minus 2 over 3 times log x is equal to log cube root of 10 to the power 7. Now you know that we can write this as log 10 to the power 7 divided by 3. Now, the next thing we are going to do is to apply the power rule of log readings. We are going to bring down this exponent to the front of the log term to become a multiplier. When we do this, we have 3 times log cube of x minus 2 over 3 times log x multiplied by log x is equal to now in this case remember that log to base a of a to the power b is equal to b so log to base 10 of 10 to the power 7 over 3 is equal to 7 over 3 now let log x be equal to the letter b to simplify things for us so here we have 3 times d cube minus 2 over 3 times d multiplied by d is equal to 7 over 3 and of course opening this bracket we have 3 times d cube times d will give us d to the power 4 minus here we have 2 over 3 d squared and bringing this term over to the left hand side it becomes minus 7 over 3 is equal to 0. Now to take care of these two fractions let us multiply through this equation by 3. 3d three to the power 4 multiplied by 3 is going to give us 9d to the power 4 minus this is going to take care of this leaving us with 2d squared this is going to take care of that leaving us with 7 and of course 0 times 3 is equal to 0 now we can factorize this equation let us use the table method the factors of 9d to the power 4 are d squared and 9d squared and the factors of minus 7 will be 1 and 7 now since this is negative then let this be negative so we have that d squared times 7 is going to give us 7d squared and 9d squared times minus 1 is going to give us minus 9d squared and of course minus 9d squared plus 7d squared is going to give us minus 2d squared so we have that the factors of this equation are d squared minus 1 multiplied by 9d squared plus 7 and of course this is equal to 0. Now we know that from this statement we have that either d squared minus 1 is equal to 0 or 9d squared plus 7 is equal to 0. Now let us look at this equation. We have that 9d squared plus 7 is equal to 0. Subtracting 7 from both sides of this equation, we have that 9d squared is equal to minus 7. And dividing both sides of this equation by 9 
we have that d squared is equal to minus 7 over 9. But now notice that to find the value of d, if we take the square root of both sides of this equation, we are going to have a complex value. And of course, we are looking for the real values of x that satisfy this equation. So this second equation is unacceptable. It is of no use to us. Now, from this equation, we have that d squared is equal to 1. And of course, taking square root of both sides of the equation, we have that d is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1, which of course is equal to plus or minus 1. So we have that log x is equal to plus or minus 1. And of course, you know that what this means is that 10 to the power plus or minus 1 is equal to x. So from here, we have that x is equal to 10 to the power plus or minus 1. Two values. x is either equal to 10 to the power plus 1 or x is equal to 10 to the power minus 1. Of course, 10 to the power plus 1 is equal to 10, and 10 to the power minus 1 is equal to 1 over 10. So we have that the two values of x that satisfy this logarithmic equation are x equal to 10 and x equal to 1 over 10. Now, to check our answer, let us substitute the values of x that we calculated into the original equation. When x is equal to 10, we have... 10 to the power 3 times, now log 10, of course, is 1. 1 cubed is 1. Minus 2 over 3 times log x, which, of course, is equal to 1. Now, is this equal to, this is 10 to the power 7 over 3. So here we have 10 to the power 3 minus 2 over 3. Is this equal to 10 to the power 7 over 3? Now, in this exponent, we have 3 times 3, which is 9. 9 minus 2 is 7. So we have that 10 to the power 7 over 3 is equal to 10 to the power 7 over 3. So you can see that when x is equal to 10, the left-hand side of this equation is equal to the right-hand side. Now, when x is equal to 10 to the power minus 1, we have 10 to the power minus 1 into, we have 3 times minus 1 cubed. Minus 1 cubed is minus 1. Now, minus 2 over 3 times minus 1. Is this equal to 10 to the power 7 over 3? Now, on the left-hand side, we have 10 to the power minus 1 into 3 times minus 1 is minus 3. Minus minus is plus. So here we have plus 2 over 3. Is this equal to 10 to the power 7 over 3? Now, simplifying this, we have minus minus is plus. So this is plus 3. Minus plus is minus, so this is minus 2 over 3. Is this equal to 10 to the power 7 over 3? Once more, 3 times 3 is 9. 9 minus 2 is 7. So here we have that 10 to the power 7 over 3 is equal to 10 to the power 7 over 3. So once more, when x is equal to 10 to the power minus 1, that is 1 over 10, we can see that the left-hand side of this equation is equal to the right-hand side of the equation. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching. And you can watch more videos here.